Welcome to the homework for lesson 35. This is grade one, module one. Write your name first before you forget it later. If you don't do it first, you won't remember it at the end. Solve sets of number sentences. Look for easy groups to cross off. Erase that because it kind of accidentally crossed off one of the pictures. Look for easy groups to cross off. So we're looking at 7 minus 5. There's a 5 group. Boom. That's You don't have to count it to know that there's 5 there. That's an easy group to cross off. And you can see there's 2 left. And then 7 minus 2. Well, here's a 2 group right there. And I can see there's a 5 group left. 5. More subtraction. Starting with 6, crossing out 5. Cross, here's the 5 group. I'll cross out the 5 group, and there's the 1 left. And then starting with 6 again, but this time only crossing out 1. There's the 1, and I can see there's a whole 5 group left over. 5. That's what easy groups to cross off means. So this is starting with 9 before we subtract. How much do I have to cross off to have four left over? So I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have four left over, it's these four, which means I have to cross off those five, that whole five group. And if I'm gonna start with nine before I subtract again, this time I'm gonna have five left over. So I'm gonna have these left over, and I'm gonna cross off these four. So it's four I had to cross out. And now it says subtract. Make a math drawing for each problem like the ones above. So that means we're drawing up and down these bracelets. We're drawing the beads. You have to have the math drawing. have to have it. And we're going to fill in this number bond and finish the number sentence. So if we start, this is subtraction, right? Minus. If we start with 10 before we subtract, and then we're going to subtract 5 is how many we're going to cross out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need to write all 10 from our bracelet, 5 of each. Just like your left fingers and your right fingers. So we're going to cross out 5. There's a whole 5 group. There's going to be a 5 group left. Our total is 10, and we took it apart into 5 crossed out and 5 not crossed out. Subtraction again. We start with 8. We cross out 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll color these in. These, the red ones are always at the bottom here. So there's our 8 if we cross out 5. We're going to have three left. And now this is starting with eight. That's our total. Five are crossed out and three are not. And now we have a little bonus number sentence here. So if we start with eight, how many do we have to cross out to be left with five? Well, imagine. If these five were left, instead of crossed out, we'd have to cross out these instead. We'd have to cross out three. So you can see right here that if you cross out five, you're going to have three left. And with eight, and if you cross out three, you're going to have five left. And that's, how, that's what the number bond tells you. You break up three and you break up eight, I mean, into two parts, a three and a five, that if you, if you, take away one part, you're going to have the other one left. And if you take away the other part, you're going to have the other part left. Solve. Visualize five groups to help you. So here we have nine. So we're going to, how many do we have to cross out to have five left? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's almost all of a ten frame, right? So I'm going to have to cross out five of these to have the top four left. And here we have 5 and 5. 
right? You have to start with 10 to cross out 5 and have 5 left. If you start with 8, how many do you have to cross out to have 5 left? We just did that, right? Look, that's like this whole... You don't have to circle yours, but I'm going to circle mine. That's what we just did up here. 8 minus what is 5 to cross out 3 to have 5 left. And now here we have... How many do we have to start with? If we have 5... 5 subtracted, 5 crossed out, and 2 left, how many do we start with? Now, if that's just like you can't get your head around it, draw it. It's okay. We have 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, cross those out, and then 2 left. How many did we start with? We had these, we had all of them to begin with, right? If we were thinking about, um, like, how many did we have before we crossed? So if these weren't crossed out, how many would we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We would have seven. So it takes seven to have five crossed out and two left over. And now same kind of problem here. We have five crossed out, but now we have three left over. So if we have five crossed out, look at our old picture over here. We have five crossed out, but three left over. That means we must have started with eight. And then here we're looking at this. Well, crossing out four and having five left might remind you. And now you don't have to circle it like I just did, but I'm going to circle another one just so you see which one I'm talking about here. This might remind you of here. If you cross out five and have four left, you're going to have to start with the same number to cross out four and have five left, right? Because the like the number bond would be nine with Five and four and five and four. So you have to start with nine. If you've got four and five of your parts, it has to be nine. Oops. Second page of the homework. Complete the number sentence and number bond for each problem. Uh, if you know your doubles, this part's going to be a lot easier. It takes two threes to make a six. And here if I have two fives, just like you have two fingers on each hand, you can have ten fingers. And if you've got eight, one part is four, the other part has to be has to be four. And I'll figure out why my pen sometimes just won't write. Number 10. Match the number sentence to the strategy that helps you solve. So I'm going to have to zoom in out a little bit so you can see all of them. All right. So we have 7 minus something equals 2. So If we start with 7, how many do we have to cross out to have 2 left over? You have to have, you have to cross out 5. Now, are we going to use doubles or 5 groups for that? No, uh, there's no doubles in this number sentence, because in 5 and 2, we'd have to have two parts that are the same for doubles. So this is going to have to be a 5 group, and, and the dead giveaway is that you have to cross out a 5 group. You have to cross out 5. And we have 8, and we need parts of 8. One of them is 3, the other one has to be 5. And there's a 5 group again. You have to cross out a 5 group. And here we have 10. We have one part is 5, the other part has to be 5. That's usually the first um, part of 10. Everyone gets is 5 and 5. 9 and 1 is usually the next easiest one. And now we have doubles, because there's two 3's there. Two threes together make six. Line it up there. And then eight is going to be two fours. So that's a double. And nine is not going to be a double. There's no double that makes nine. A nine, if I cross out, if I start with nine, one, two, three, four. And you could have done this for all of them if you wanted to draw the pictures and cross out. You can absolutely, please, don't 
worry about that not being in the directions. Absolutely, you can do it. Three, four, five. Of course, I didn't think of saying it till the last one, so I'm sorry if I didn't think of the best strategy until it was too late. But we have nine. How many do I have to cross out to have five left over? When I want to have these five, this five group left, I have to cross out those four. Uh, so that's a five group strategy there. So we didn't use this double strategy down here. We didn't use that guy at the end. But that's just how it worked out.